Welcome to our daily encounter, Scattered Servants 5. The Great Commission is an invitation to co-mission with God to see his kingdom established on earth. For followers of Jesus, this should be something that we give time to. It is the kingdom purpose we have been created for. Alan Scott, in his book entitled Scattered Servants, Unleashing the Church to Bring Life to the City, writes, When we send scattered servants, we treat them as trusted rulers and invite them to listen to Jesus, be guided by the Spirit, steward a solution from heaven, and release it into the earth. God's intention was always for his created people to rule and reign on earth. We see this right at the beginning of the Bible in Genesis. We read, Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. However, at the fall, when sin and death entered the world, as we rejected God and his ways, we lost our privileged position and our God-given right to rule. It has only been restored through Jesus, who, fully God and fully human, came and subjected himself to live in a broken human body in a broken world. Jesus was tempted in every way, yet never sinned, never rejected God, therefore remained in a perfect relationship with God. Jesus was the perfect sacrifice to pay the price for our sin, our rebellion toward God, so we could be saved, saved from death and restored to our privileged position to rule and reign. So now we see that Jesus, through the Great Commission, delegates authority again to his followers. Alan Scott writes, you may not see it or feel it, but you have it. Every believer does. Kingdom authority is given to every follower to bring everything everywhere into alignment with the agenda of the king. The problem is that we don't recognise that we have this authority. And even when we do, we don't know how to use it. But unless we learn, we will be unable to bring life to our city. Alan writes, our lives were designed to carry heaven's authority. We are ambassadors and reconciles of all of creation. Our ministry isn't to support church, our ministry is to shape culture. This is our journey, to rediscover who we are in God and what we have been given so we can fulfill our kingdom purpose on earth. That's why our dream at CLC is not to see a gathered crowd of 400 people, but to see a scattered group of 400 people walking in their God-given authority to bring life to our city and beyond. We have written it like this. We want to be a family of Jesus followers who proclaim and demonstrate the good news in every sector of society to see the rule and reign of Jesus established in our city. Our purpose on earth is to see God's kingdom established under the rule and reign of King Jesus. Alan Scott writes, we must reject the idea that kingdom work happens mainly in services or on stages or on street corners and respond to God's invitation to join him in his work of reshaping the world in ordinary places like shopping centres, farms, factories and offices. So let's pray. Father God, thank you for the privilege of being called by you to work for you. Thank you that through your son, you have restored and delegated authority to your followers to reshape the world and bring life to our city. Help me know who I am in Christ and the kingdom purpose for which I was created. Help me become a scattered servant that has been sent to bring life wherever you choose to plant me. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Let's celebrate, let's worship the King of Kings today. Rescue my soul His blood has covered my sin I believe